So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve this problem. Write minus 18 is less than x is less than 82 in the form of mod 2x minus a is less than b. And I'm going to do this using three different methods. The first method will be using the method that we've used in the last couple of videos, okay? Uh, manipulating the inequality. The second method I'll show you is a graphical approach. And the third way is a simultaneous equations approach, which I always think is worth knowing and to have up your sleeve if required. Okay, so I'll show you how to do this, first of all, using the method uh, one, let's call it, which is the method that we've been using in the last couple of videos. So the idea would then be that we find the average of the minus 18 and the 82. So minus 18 plus 82 divided by 2. So minus 18 plus 82 divided by 2 is 32. Then I'd have to subtract 32 from each uh, side of the inequality. So minus 18 take away 32 is minus 50. We'd have x minus 32. And 82 take away uh, 32 will get me 50. So it would fit the form of mod of x minus 32 is less than 50. But because of that 2x that's in there, this won't, that won't be the final answer. So to get the 2, I could multiply everything through by 2. And so this is equivalent to writing down 2x minus 64 is less than 100. And so that solves the original problem it's in the correct format. OK, let's now try method number two. So method number two, I said, was going to be a graphical method. So this idea that uh, my two x value solutions are minus 18 and 82, and I've got this modulus graph coming in, because this is going to be the graph of 2x minus a. So I know that the vertex is going to be to the right of the y-axis because this point is minus 18 and this point is 82. Okay, I know that this grade, the gradient of that line is 2 because of that value there. This point is the midpoint between the minus 18 and the 82 because the graph is, um, is symmetric. So like we did up here, that's going to be point 32. So to get from 32 to 82, that's a distance of 50. If this gradient, if the line has gradient 2, going along 50, I've got to go up 100. And so that's got to be y is equal to 100. So the graph, the modulus graph here, would have a form of mod x minus 32, because that's where the vertex is. Because the gradient is 2, I've got to put a 2 in front. And then I've got to say, well, that's less than 100. So then I can multiply my modulus through by the 2. And I get the format that I've got there. OK? And the same answer. So you can approach it graphically. Third method, I said was going to be a uh, simultaneous equations method. So what this relies on is looking at the format that you need to write it in and saying, OK, well, if mod of 2x minus a is less than b, that means that the 2x minus a is between minus b and b. OK? Then I can add a to each side. And then I can divide everything through by 2. So in order for this to be equivalent to this, this must be equivalent to this also, which means that the a minus b over 2 has got to be the minus 18. And the a plus b over 2 has got to be the 82. So multiplying both by 2, we get a minus b is minus 36. That's equation number one. And then a plus b is equal to uh, 164, multiplying the 82 by 2. 
we can then add both of these two together. So if we do 1 plus 2, that knocks out the Bs. Or you can substitute them into your calculator's Silvertase equation solver. Um, we're going to get 2A is equal to, so we've got, what well, we've got, 164 take away 36, so 128. So A would have to be 64. And then, um, if A is 64, so we sub into equation number 2, 64 plus B has got to be 164, so that means that B has got to be 100. And so, the format is 2x minus A, 64, is less than B, which is the 100. And so we have three separate methods that enable you to find uh, the correct values of A and B.